Burning data is one of the most widely used features in a shampoo burning studio. In this video, I will demonstrate how to burn especially large amounts of data. Additionally, I'll show you how to easily distribute your data across multiple disks. My name is Axel Gherkin from the Ashampoo team, and I hope you enjoy watching. After launching the program, we first navigate to the Burn Data menu. Next, I select the New Disk plus Disk Spanning function. You can easily add the data you want to burn by using the plus symbol or the folder icon. Alternatively, you can also add files by dragging and dropping them from the Explorer. Please note that it is not possible to split a large file across multiple disks. Only multiple individual files can be handled. Distributing a large video of approximately 5 gigabytes across multiple CDs would not be feasible. Now that all the data has been added, I'll close the file selection explorer. At the bottom on the blue bar, you can clearly see the size of the selected data. To the right, you can also see how much space from which storage media you need for burning. This list is just a suggestion, and you can mix different types of disks. However, keep in mind that you might need up to 8 CDs for a DVD. We recommend sticking to one type of disk, as shown in my example. I choose to use two DVDs. Then, click Next. At this point, I am selecting the drive and inserting the first blank disk. In my case, it's a DVD. The burner is now handling the task and transferring the data onto the first DVD. After completing the first DVD, you are now prompted to insert the second blank disk. So for me, it's another DVD. Without needing to press any additional buttons, the burning studio automatically starts the burning process for the second DVD. Similarly, more disks would follow if additional media were required for your burning process. After the burning process is complete, a message confirms that the DVD has been successfully burned. This ensures that all data is now securely stored on both DVDs. Next, I want to show you how quickly you can create a Quick Start button, or desktop icon, directly on your desktop. This allows you to start a frequently used function from the burning studio directly from the desktop. As an example, I chose the Copy function in Burning Studio. First, I start the copy function using the usual method. You can now create a shortcut on your desktop with just one click on the Create Quick Start button. To demonstrate this, I will close the program and now start the function from the desktop with just one click. The advantage of this is that you can neatly organize all frequently used functions on your desktop. Multiple desktop icons can be organized into folders for better clarity. This doesn't always have to be on the desktop itself. The icons can also be easily launched from other locations. That concludes today's session. You can now burn large amounts of data across multiple disks yourself. We hope you enjoyed it a bit. We wish you lots of fun with the Burning Studio. If you liked the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. Goodbye, and see you next time.